Whether it's a daily driver, a brand new vehicle, a show car, or a workhorse just like this, a very important decision you'll make is to preserve it or protect your investment. This customer is doing just that, and he asked for a ceramic coating that is rugged, looks good, durable, chemical resistant, uh, everything you can ask for on and off road. I have chosen this coating for that customer just for that purpose. Art Deshines Ceramic Metal Oxide Coating utilizes ATO, which is antimony tin oxide. It works as a shield against infrared heat, UVA, UVB. Also improves corrosion and chemical resistance. Also happens to look damn good applied to your vehicle. So get that viscous, uh, thick, rich formula shaken up, mixed up. We'll get the droplet insert out of there. I have my eyedropper ready to go. We're going to load up the pad and get to work. The ATO, or metal oxide, is also mixed in with a traditional ceramic coating and PDMS, which really stands for the polymers they add to give it the, its super hydrophobic qualities. And speaking of traditional ceramic coatings, it applies just like one. On your micro suede applicator, you're going to do a crisscross pattern, cross hatching the product, giving it a minute or two to settle on the surface and start to bond before you wipe off the transfer solution. Uh, I was really thinking when I first used this that I would have really have to do a small area at a time, but it really isn't that bad. It is user friendly. It's not very tacky. Removing, applying, it's a product you can get around the car in a reasonable amount of time. This truck here is has a it's huge guys uh, four door crew cab it has a lot of real estate to cover and it didn't take me that long two towels to wipe off the product and I do go through a lot of towels guys I'll go through probably about a dozen towels and I do throw them in a bucket that has a half ounce of uh, power clean or sometimes multi-x by car pro that way it really slows down the cure time in that towel so i can wash it but i still downgrade them to door jams or engine compartment um, or maybe even interior work There are many coatings with many different um, levels of concentration of SiO2 or graphene or metal oxide, whatever they have in their coating, which can make it a little difficult at, at times. Sometimes I could do the whole front clip of a vehicle and apply it and then come back and wipe it off. Sometimes I have to do a whole hood, sometimes half a hood. Here I'll do a quarter of a hood. I'll go back and wipe it off and I have no problems whatsoever. When I speak of concentrations, well, let's talk about that. The entry-level coatings will come in at about 65-75% solids. As you go up to your three-year coating, then you're talking about 85, high 80s, 90. This one here is at about 93% solids, which does make it just a little bit more uh, difficult to work. Uh, and when I talk about difficult, I'm not talking about something you would never do again if you tried it. You just have to take your time. Make sure you pick a day where you have a little bit of time where you're not rushing the job. And I'll give you the close-up here in first person to get, give you an idea what it looks like going on.
I also get asked about the microsuede applicators. How many do I go through? I'll go through, depending on the size of the car, of course, somewhere in between three and six applicators. I'll change those out as soon as I see them pick up any dirt whatsoever. And another good tip, wipe off each panel when you get to it. Dirt, dust, circulating the air, even in the cleanest environment, will settle on the surface of the car. So wipe it off before you coat it. Just a gentle, light wipe with a plush microfiber. Guys, you all can could do this. You all can protect your car. Uh, I don't want you to feel uh, intimidated in any way from wet sanding, polishing with the machine, coating your car. You can, If I can do it, guys, you can do it. I'm no better than you guys. Uh, I just took the time to get to know the products and the tools to do this. You can do it too. I have faith in you. Yeah, you can see there, it wasn't fighting me. I had no problem whatsoever wiping it off. So let me put the camera down. It's time to really start to fly. Let's get going. We have a lot of cars to coat. And when you're done, it looks fantastic. So let's put all of the durability stuff behind um, or to the side until later in the video and just take a look at this thing inside and out. This is a color. Silvers, white, champagnes, grays, colors I mentioned often that take something a little special to get them to call for attention when they're out on the road in a parking lot, and this does just that. Absolutely gorgeous. Guys, the best time to protect your car is when you first get it or if it's brand new before that first mile is put on there. Preserve it. Five years down the road, park that thing next to the same truck that's been out in the environment with the same mileage, the same year. Yours will be preserved. It'll be night and day. Let's get over to the test panel, guys. I want to show you some of its uh, durability. Uh, also, we're going to take some measurements and show just how much this can make a panel or a vehicle jump when it comes to gloss. This panel is not perfect. I scuffed it up on purpose. We're not applying to a perfect panel this time. By the way, I polished on this panel so many times, it's almost mirror flat. So uh, I did scuff it up so we could see what type of jump in gloss we get. I'm also going to measure the thickness, the thickness of the clear before and after to see just how much this builds on top of your clear coat or if you apply to single stage as well. Okay, we have this applied and uh, two coats recommended. You never paint your fence with one coat. We're going to let this set a minimum of 24 hours to cure. When we do come back, and here it is, you can definitely, the first thing you notice is the slickness and the gloss. 24 hours minimum when it comes to cure time. It'll cure from 0 to 85% in that time. And then from there, it'll take 10 to 14 days to slowly cure from 85 to 100%. So as we now take gloss measurements, you can see the huge jump 
in this dull section here. All right, we also started out with 7.5 mils of thickness, and that's from the substrate itself to the top of the clear coat. And now we have 7.9. So you can uh, actually measure the amount of thickness that this will increase on your vehicle. So let's drag this panel outside. We'll remove the tape. I like to take a look in direct sunlight. Does it make the, the panel or your vehicle look darker, richer? Give it depth, bring out that gorgeous base color if it's metallic or whatever you have. And indeed, it does. And also remember, I did scuff up the panel, so it does have some minor filling capabilities as well. This coating is hydrophobic, opposed to hydrophilic, so it does uh, reject water. It'll give you the high contact angle beating, and you can easily tell where the protection is on this panel. We're going to just mess around with it. I'm going to throw some really harsh chemicals at it. First, I always just like to wash it so you get an idea of um, how it reacts to this plain old pH neutral soap. Knowing this coating is incredibly tenacious, I'm going to throw three harsh chemicals right on top of the panel in sunlight, let the sun bake it in for a few minutes, then we'll rinse it and wash it, and I can show you what this type of coating can withstand. And even those harsh chemicals are either sheeting or beating off the panel. Uh, lucky for me, I have the panel over a catch basin, so it's not uh, seeping into the ground, and that's why I didn't go crazy with dumping a lot of the chemicals on there. But as we wash the panel now, it will even fight the soapy water, rinse it free, and we are back to normal. So if you want something tenacious, if you, you want something uh, that will protect and preserve your car in some real harsh environments, you may want to look into this one. That will bring us to the final thought segment of the video. Art to Shine's metal oxide coating utilizes ATO, antimony tin oxide. That is uh, a formula that will help resist UVA, UVB damage, disperse temperatures, uh, high heat, and also gives you a ton of chemical resistance and reflection all in one. If you're looking for something different, guys, something rugged, something durable, um, that really, really looks good and isn't hard to apply. I it, This surprised me. I thought this would really be um, like some of those professional ceramic coatings that you need to be certified um, to apply them. This was much easier than some of those available. Um, you can do this yourself. So I will put a link down below. Uh, as for a ranking on the channel, uh, very impressive. Oh, by the way, when it comes to this ranking, which is new to the channel, I had some uh, uh, subscribers ask, what are some of the products in the uh, go out and get it now and don't bother uh, category. So we'll start with the don't bother because there are pretty many in each category. Uh, I've reviewed a lot of, of products by now. So let's start with this one. Interestingly enough, there was a product that started out with Don't Bother, uh, their first formula, and ended up go out and get it now. That That is a huge turnaround, guys. The last coat first version, guys, would have uh, definitely gotten the Don't Bother, and it did. 
they were listening. They are one of the few companies that you'll see out on uh, social media, Facebook, and just about anywhere you look on social media that are advertising uh, that is worth a damn because they went back and redid the formula. They actually cared about what people were, were, were saying about the, the, the product, um, not just a money grab, like a lot of these other junk products are. So they went back to the drawing board and they redid the formula and this stuff went from don't bother to go out and get it. I use it here at the shop, great for a topper, great for a standalone product. Uh, so I'll cover some of the products that will um, land in the go out and get it now category in the next video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.